So I accomplished my task. Look at my grass, look at the grass, look at the grass, woo, woo. Look, but I wanted to show y'all something. Okay, I'm gonna have to turn the camera around, hold on. I have tomatoes. Look at my tomatoes. I gotta get the, the cages to go around them. But my neighbor gave me tomatoes, so I'm excited. I'm so excited. And then I have um, watermelon, yellow watermelon and red watermelon. I don't know which one is which. And this right here is some um, peppermint. Um, I think this is more peppermint <coughs> down here. Uh, I got work to do. And then I have a lemon tree, y'all. Check out my lemon tree. Y'all see my lemon tree? I thought I had killed it, but it's coming back. It's coming back. I'm excited. And lastly, I want to show y'all. I had, I had, these were, uh, what do you call them? Pineapples? I don't know what I did. I, I don't know if I killed them, y'all, because I let them stay out the, over the whole winter and didn't protect them. But look, this was a big pineapple and i believe this is going to be a pineapple y'all i don't know i don't know but uh it just started coming up so we're gonna see we're gonna see what's gonna happen with this baby right here i'm just excited i'm excited i'm excited because you know i love um outdoors let me turn it around so y'all can i love outdoors right i'm a country girl at heart you know grew up in the country raised in the country and um so i don't mind getting dirty i used to play with the tadpoles you know what i'm saying uh dig digging digging uh ditches and digging uh mud mud slides in the, at, at the park and jumping out of the swings going up real high playing the blue angels and jumping on jumping out of the swings very active at a young at, at a young age i believe that's why all my kids are active um, but it felt good to come out here and get my grass done. Y'all check it out. Look at the grass. Look at the grass. Look at the grass. Look at what I did. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. As I was saying before, don't 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 be waiting on people to do stuff for y'all. I'm serious. When you need something done, do it yourself. You'll appreciate it. There was a scripture that was coming to mind while I was cutting grass, and I wanted to share it with everyone. And um I believe it's in the book of Romans, but it talks about uh, suffering produces perseverance and perseverance character and character hope and hope does not disappoint us, y'all, because our hope is in God and God alone. So I just want to encourage you, if you are experiencing some sufferings, if you may even experience sufferings in the, in the uh, future, Remember that that suffering, that that hardship, that the things that you may encounter, it is building great character in you. It is developing something good in you. You know, while I was out here cutting grass, although I didn't feel like doing it at first, I, I realized that it was going, you know, get my metabolism going even stronger, you know, um, get me to sweat and get a good exercise, get a good, get some good exercise in. You know what I'm saying? Um, motivate me, keep me motivated. I'm always motivated, but it, it feels good to even push it, push it to the, push it to the limit. Sometimes we have to push ourselves to the limit to be our best, okay? So I'm just encouraging you, when things look like it's hard, when things look like you don't know what's gonna happen, what's gonna go down, I want you to be encouraged that suffering, that that suffering you're experiencing is producing something great in you. Producing something great in you for the near future. Guess what? And in the future, there's some great things coming for you. Yes, it's coming for you. So trust and believe. I know it's coming for me. I need you to believe it too. Have a blessed one. Oh, my face is red. Look at my face. That was a workout. A good one, huh? I am sweaty. Hey.